Hello Cancer and welcome to your Coffee Cup reading for the week ahead of October 23rd. Okay, okay um, you're trying to make things function, okay? And there's some sense of preparations. This is in general areas in your life, you know, to each his own. Um, but also making adjustments to things, you know, it's like you, maybe you're starting projects, to something with the home, whatever it is. Um, you're trying to make things function. You're testing trial, error, things like that, you know, <laughs> preparations, but also making adjustments to it, okay, to like perfect something. So I'm seeing that energy too, all right? It's almost like, again, there's a little bit of indecisions, you know, that kind of energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is opportunities coming in. And these are really good ones. Um, you know, this is with business, work, career, whatever you do most of the day. It's stable. It's something that's going to be long lasting. So, you know, from now and con it continues, it could build, grow, but it's something that's going to be long lasting. Um, I do he see more heat to your passions. Okay. Um, this is good for casual, gene genial type of relations. Okay. But not for daydreaming unrealistically, okay? So really look at the practical matters. Yes, it's nice to focus on the future and that, but look at the present now. So that's what showed up there. Um, let your intuition guide you because your senses of, <clears throat> excuse me, intuition and imagination are subtle, but they are psychic, okay? So there are messages here. Um, Art, you know, be more artistic because you have very good creative energy here. Also, there is a message here, you know, remember about forgiveness and um, what you can forgive. Um, that's the energy that's showing here because maybe there, these are things in the past, there's things that have hurt you. So either forgive, you know, make up kisses, whatever, depends on who it's with. If there's a tiff or something, um, or forgive yourself and just move on. That is the message that's coming through there. The energy also shows it's a lot about others and other people's feelings, okay, showing up. Um, even if it's um, reserved, it's like you're going to pick that up. Uh, other people's energy uh, uh, is going to affect you. It is best for like maybe a fair, friendly talk with someone too, okay? Um, especially if you pick something up, maybe you need, someone needs to talk to you. That's what I'm seeing here too. I do see a, an abundant side here with, you know, love uh, and uh, things that you love to do, okay? Now for some, you know, new baby talks about um, maybe have um, adding to your, to your, family, you know, some of you may want to, you know, you got married and now it's a year past, you know what I mean? You talk about maybe creating um, a new life, a new baby. There's, you know, there's fertile energy. For some, I'm seeing like a new lover or new love interest too. Or for some, this can also be an old one or an ex or something coming back with new tricks. Okay. So, you know, your choice. Now, a family member, or this can be like your partner, um, a relationship in general that's, you know, in the matters of the heart, it's, it could be a little bit at odds. There could be some negative feelings. Um, try to push or dissuade that. I mean, there is fortunately some good energy here, like recovery through insightful words is possible, okay? So again, that's just what I'm seeing here. It takes a while to get like comfortable with some people and, and there's an energy that like offers you both roads to take. You know, you could have that nice bond or... It could follow with some negative comments, you know. Uh, words can be impactful, 
on either side now. It's something either you said, you may say, so watch what you say, and it could uh, come back to bite you or you regret it or vice versa. Because I see then things get a little stable, but, you know, biting words from like the day before or whatever this happens, you know, could sting again the next day, could repeat. Um, look for unusual and sympathetic routes to restoration, okay? I mean, that's the best way I can put that there, all right? Yeah, because I do see some stress. You know, some of you need to get some more sleep or you're having restless nights too. Okay, so I'm seeing that. Um, there is overall um, loving energy, happiness. You know, despite anything, it's like a happy home, um, happy family, you know, um, whatever. There is some happiness here. Um, but there is some things that just are a little disappointing or, you know, crying over spilt milk sometimes. Um now, you, you really are going to begin the week with, like, indecision, looking for some solutions. And the best solution could be the one that seems the most far-fetched, okay? Innovation is key, and you're very innovative, okay? So, trust your ideas, even if your ideas raise some eyebrows, okay? That is a message that's coming through. We can't make everyone happy, and you know what? Sometimes people are jealous. Um, just trust your um, ideas, Okay, there is some explosive type of energy coming in. It's popping. It's like plenty of opportunities are coming in. And this is connected to like social um, and professional. Okay, so that's looking really good. Very strong energy. I like that. All right, so that's the messages we're seeing here. Now on the plate. It's like some of you are putting like your love life or, you know, matters of the heart on the back burner because your mind is like buzzing. Okay. It's buzzing with creative energy, creativity and ambition. But, but, but there is one thing that's showing up here. You know, the best thing is capitalize on that energy right away. Okay. Uh, while you're feel, while you still are feeling inspired because it's like you're fickle minded that might pass and then you put it back and then later you know months later you could say oh why didn't i do that where could have i been if i've done that by now and you're like starting over you know i've done things like that it's happened we all do it but it's like i look back sometimes when i start something and i'm like if i only did it two three years ago i would be worried about where i would be today with some stuff understand that's what i'm saying so capitalize on that all right. Um, I do see you very sharp minded and creative, too, but very, very, you know, brilliant ideas. You could be coming up, mastering some stuff. OK, um, you could be connecting to some important people or a boss or a supervisor or a very important client. Um, and you may even get an offer. I'm not sure, but they're going, you know, you may take the lead, too. Or you may be put into some position. It's very hard to say. Um, it's a general Yes, growth, and um, there could be a windfall. There could be some um, opportunities that are coming in that it's, um, you know, unexpected, meaning you get extra. Just say, okay, just say you're selling a product or something, and uh, someone comes and buys 10 boxes of cookies <laughs> instead of the one that you, you've been selling just two usually, and then someone buys all 10, something like that. I'm just giving you an example. I know my examples can be wacky, but I try to make them so, so easy and so simple so you just get the picture. There is um, some a sense of starting over, okay, fresh beginnings from a lot of stress too. It's like you got a lot on your mind. Um but, you know, there's again, there's this sense of insecurities or you're just feeling um, that you're working too hard. You're not making enough. OK, um, there is some worries about finances. It's like, you know, you're just pushing and you're hoping when you're going to have that break. OK, um, there are some maybe lessons go back at this time of the year. I don't know if it was last year or something. I'm seeing that for some of you where you went through something similar and see where the lessons are there because there's some kind of energy there that's telling you you need to change the way um how much you've been investing in some people maybe your resources your money or how you were saving so it's like editing cutting some things out there 
and it's you're really mastering some stuff but it's like you're still kind of in that phase of um like we saw coming in you know um uh, making things function um preparations for things but you're also making these adjustments okay because there is a sense of you know those changes there but things are wrapping up and um otherwise it looks pretty good here you know yep and this is like um barracuda with a dolphin so at the same time you know you got that great intuition creativity friendliness um you've got all you got it all you just not need to do the preparations or get things functioning right and also making adjustments where needed okay that's the best way i could say it well anyway cancer that was your reading for the week ahead of october 23rd i hope you have a wonderful week and i'll catch you back next week for your next coffee cup reading until then all the best and bye